agencies. Fox News reported that as of a few days ago, there are more than 300 American troops in Ukraine, including some unspecified number of special operations forces. If a hot war does indeed begin, all of these Americans will be in danger of being killed. So the question is, will our troops leave before the shooting starts? This show asked the DOD spokesman, John Kirby, that question today. Quote, as of this moment, Kirby replied, they are still there. So when will they get out, we asked. Kirby wouldn't say. Whatever happens between Russia and Ukraine, the United States will be at the center of it, and that's worrisome. It's not hard to imagine how the next few days could go very wrong very fast. Russian troops kill American troops, inadvertently or not, and suddenly we're at war with Russia, a nuclear-armed nation whose military is stronger than all the armies we fought over the past 50 years combined. Fighting Russia is not the same as droning Muammar Gaddafi. It could quickly become a war we couldn't control. Our side of that war would be overseen by the same generals who failed to beat the Taliban, guerrilla fighters in sandals who don't use toilet paper. To be clear, the United States military is superb, but the people who run it are not. That's not some outlier opinion. It's demonstrably true.